morning, good morning, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, guys. Let's get everything pulled up here. Good morning. It's Thursday. We are almost to Friday. Look at that. It told me I'm live. Something worked this morning. Good morning, good morning. Come hang out with me, oh, please. Better. Hello, hello. It happens when you're here alone. Make sure you come tell me that you're watching. Michelle, good morning, love. We are going to... Roll ourselves. Hello, Kathy from Texas. <laughs> Don't want that. Good morning. Good morning. Hold, please. Do not want that. I guess I closed that down. There we go. How is everybody doing this morning? Okay, good morning, Yolanda. Who is that? Tina, hello, Rebecca, my minion is here. Rolling myself out to a few groups. Gotta share the love, gotta share the love. Good morning, Joanna. How are you, love? Hi, Shannon. There we go. What a couple. It's your Friday, Michelle. Yay! It's Arts Friday, too. Super, super exciting. Let's see. We're going to use the new rotary cutter from Hobby Lobby. See what happens with that. Good morning, good morning. I hope everybody is having a fabulous day so far. Good morning, Billy. It is rainy there. Good morning, Miss Flo. From what I can tell from the little crack in my drapes, it's sunny out. It's supposed to be nice. It's been a light week, but I'm ready for my weekend. Oh, and too, it's prom weekend for Trinity. Kelly, did you see Damon had a scissors on sale? Oh, I did not. Thank you. For that. That's how we do it. Okay, we're going to give this a try. Hello, Robin. Your stuff is going to be packaged up tonight. Art got off super late last night. Good morning, Shelly. I almost said good morning, Miss Kelly. Oh my goodness. Welcome to Lemon Wreaths and Home Decor. My name is Kelly, the owner and operator here in Nebraska, um, right smack in the middle of the United States. I go live Monday through Friday at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. My Hobby Lobby was all sought out of all the pink goodies. Um... Your door hangers. Hey, Tonga. Raining with snowflakes. Yeah, so this is one of um, the items that I got. We'll see how it cuts on clearance. You're fine, Tonga. I used to, we do a Y, they do IE, they do all of that stuff. So this is one of the items. They got it on clearance. These were normally $14.99 at Hobby Lobby. I got it for $3.74. Um, it's the Soology. I got a mat. I got some. They had the blades for only $1.24. So I got some blades. Oh, yeah. The, um, lots of fall going out. And Trinity sent me um, a short clip. I need to post it. Of the one back was filled with um, ornaments. Filled with ornaments. Good morning, Jen. So what? I don't even have a frame, guys. Oh, my gosh. 
I sat here for a couple minutes before I started thinking, what am I missing? What am I missing? Well, a frame is what I'm missing. So let's see if I have enough black ones. Sorry guys. Sherry, I really cannot do fall yet. I just got done putting on my Christmas. I know. Yeah, um, I just I just can't. And they did, I'm sure many of you saw my post. I was able to get four of every time I start, four of the unique in the creek boards. Um, I checked another Hobby Lobby. I, I didn't see them anywhere unless they already sold, and I don't know the managers there, so I didn't ask. Um, she hasn't had a whole lot of time to train there, Kathy. Uh, she loves it. She loves, um, the department, but she's been, um, customer service manager for, uh, filling in. Good morning, Joan. And so she's been holding down the front end, um, of the store. So she hasn't gotten to do a whole lot, but she loves her job so that is all that matters right good morning angela so what we're going to do today i did one of these when i very very first started and i just wanted to do it again because i'm going to do it a little bit different see how it works so um dollar tree frame of course 14 inch dollar tree frame we're going to add our own ties to it and what we're going to use is we're going to use a shelf liner um this makes for a flat wreath, wreath, um, because it just naturally isn't going to, you know, it's not going to be real poofy. Hey, Linda, now I see you. Good morning, Shelly. Um, hey, Justin, long time no talk. Um, they're doing better. I get to go up and see dad today. I'm super, super excited. Uh, he's finally supposed to be out of isolation as of today. Um, Mom finally gets to go up and see him tomorrow. She tested positive a day after him, so she's got to wait one extra day. Um, they're both feeling better. They got the coughs, but at least they're coughing. You know, it's a productive cough, and it's not staying in their lungs. They were doing the mesh aisle at my store, but the paper was sitting there and showed the boards on it, so got to... Oh. Thanks, Donna. Good morning, Mary. So we are going to do one with shelf liner now i've seen crosses made with the shelf liner um all of that good stuff so these come in rolls they're 12 inches wide so wider than mesh uh 72 inches long um so my thoughts were if we did 12 inch cuts we'll see if that's too long and i got two of each because this would be 12 cuts and this would be 12 cuts we need a total of 24 because we'll put two in each tie. So we're going to see how it works up. We are going to go ahead and I don't need this anymore. Again, these are from Dollar Tree. The only colors that I've seen, mine had three colors. They had black in addition to these. These are the two that um, Art liked. He said, don't do black. I was going to do all three of them. So we went with his. A picking. Guys, I am so very sorry. And what I'm going to do, in all honesty, was because it was the first mesh, I, or excuse me, the first ribbon I looked at when I was looking for ribbon was this, speaking of fall, um, something that I got on clearance from Walmart when they were like 49 cents. So it's going to be a farmhouse theme, okay? So we've got this fun rooster, rooster ribbon that we're going to use. I'm going to try. I'm not going to use it as tails. Hobby Lobby sells this chicken wire. I'm going to see what it looks like to put it in a bow. We're going to see. If it doesn't work, I have my actual chicken wire ribbon. And then we've got some other... Um, we're just going to keep it all... Good morning, Vicky. We're going to keep it all this black and cream. However, I might put a pop of red on the very top. We'll see. As far as the sign... You don't always have to put a sign on a wreath. So I'm kind of torn because I have this one. It was already, I had already painted it white, spray painted it white. I don't know if I want to use it since this is ivory or off-white. Hello, Mindy. Yeah, I bought it because I wanted to use it on a craft tonga 
Mindy, thank you for the stars. Judy, hello from Canada. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. So we'll see. You know, I don't, it might offset. I'm very, very OCD when it comes to the right shade, especially white and cream. So, hey, Sarah, good morning. Hey, Stephen, how are you, sweetheart? Hope you're doing well. Good morning, sunshine. Hey, Sylvia from Texas. So we're going to go ahead and prep our frame, okay? And that means we're going to put our ties on. So I'm going to start on these inside, these inside ties. Working again and watching me. <laughs> so watching me and barely working. You should try to come to church on the, is it the 18th? No. It is the 15th maybe. I'll have to look, um, but it's um, baccalaureate Sunday. It's when the graduates and stuff will be there, so we'll definitely be there. I don't know if mom will be there because they've been so sick, but I'd love to see you, kiddo. I know the kids would have a fit. Okay, so we are putting a tie around each bracket. So if you are new to wreath making, um, Dollar Tree frame. It has four rows on it. I'll leave it here so you can see it on my mat. It's got four wire rows. And so we are putting, and then it's connected by brackets, okay? So I am putting it on the inside, okay? The inside around this bracket for my first six. There's six brackets on a 14 inch frame. So what I'm doing is fold the Chanel stem in half and I put it right over that inside bracket, okay? See how it's on the inside? And I pull the legs in. I cross it. Now, you can get away with just twisting it. I taught myself when I learned, I cross it, and then I pull these legs around this inside one again. So all of my inside ones, my inside legs are on the inside. Okay? So that's six. A standard Dollar Tree frame, the 14-inch, is normally 12 ties. We've got our first six. The other six is going to be on the outside, two rows, listening to the Lori, give it to, oh. You watch a lot of trials. I don't get into that stuff. I do if it's um like um, a movie type or if it's real time. Um, it's about a real story type, but I don't know. I just don't get into it. Okay, so we're gonna go again, one, two, three, four. If you're looking from the outside, you want these outside two rings, and we're gonna go between these two brackets, okay? So here's my outside two rings. Yeah, I'm putting it on the bracket on the inside. You see, one, two, three, four, okay? If you're counting from the outside, I call it the inside bracket, Pam. I hope that helps. So I'm putting it on the inside. There's four rows, and it's the on the inside, the very, very center ring. Okay. Oh, Mindy, I love you, hon. We need to be catching up soon. So now I'm going to go, I call them the outside two, but it'd be one and two. We're going to put it around one and two. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. And it's between these two brackets. And the reason we're using two of them is it gives it something to grab onto. You're going to pull just slightly. Slightly but tightly. I think that's what Miss Tina used to say. Okay, and it's between the two brackets. Same thing. Yeah, it's the inside. Inside or the last one, if you count from the outside. I call it outside and inside, but it'd be one, two, three, four counting from the outside in PM. I hope I'm not confusing you. So it's this inside on the the um the fourth one and now we're putting it on the outside too some people when they make them they do it on number two and three so it sits more on top but if you put your ties on away from you if you notice I'm not doing it here I'm doing it this way amazing how dumb people are. yeah I do lifetime is my thing and there's movies that I watch over and over and every day I check to see if new ones are uploaded um, so if you if you put your ties on, which I used to do, if you put your ties on closest to you, let me show you. If I did the same exact thing, it's hard for me to do because 
I'm not used to it. If you were to do the same exact thing and you do it towards you and you pull and twist, you are very welcome, Pam. See how the V, okay, the V or the center of this is to the outside? This is the one I just did doing towards me. This one, when you do it, it sits more on top, okay? If you have issues with your mesh flopping to the outside, that's probably why. Try putting your ties on away from you because you're naturally going to pull in, which is going to pull your tie to the inside. I hope that makes sense. You're naturally going to, when you do um, do it tightly, slightly but tightly, it's automatically going to come in. So now that V or the center of my ties is right there on top. So we're going to do this all the way around. So this will be another six, which is where we get our total of 12 ties on a 14 inch frame. Of course, Sylvia. Absolutely. Work those babies up. I'd love to see a picture of them. Hello, Kathy. Good morning. Good morning to everybody that is popping on. If you are new to watching, please let me know. Missed you for a few days. Busy taking care of my mother. Oh, bless your heart and prayers to your mom. Can be a lot of work when we're taking care of parents. So now we've got all our little spider legs on here. We've got six on the inside and six on the outside. I watch a lot of true crime. They don't <laughs> yep. So it'll have it. And that's why some people put it on rows two and three. So it sits right on top automatically. That's just the way that um, I do it. Okay. So we're going to set this aside. Good morning, Leilani. How are you, sweetheart? Let's see if we can get to 100 this morning, guys, and I will do a giveaway. I have a whole bunch of new mesh that I just got in. Or I could even do a sign. He's not scared or concerned. <laughs> um, let's see uh, if we can get to 100 viewers this morning. So roll those lemons out there. Again, if you're new, please let me know so we can give you the official lemon head welcome. Okay, we're using shelf liners. We're going to undo all of these. They are 12 inches wide by 72 inches long. Good morning, Jen. Absolutely, Julie. Okay. We're going to see how long. I should be able to get 12, excuse me, six out of each roll because I'm going to cut 12 inches. Everyone needs to wear, it's a, yeah, be kind, I know. It's hard sometimes. It's hard sometimes. Let's see how long 12 inches is, what it looks like with this. Now they stop scrolling. Good morning, Georgie. Okay, that'd be there. Let's go ahead, because I'm not going to cut longer, obviously. So we're going to... We're going to cut 12. This is one of the new ones that I got. If we just scrunch it like this, let's see what it's going to look like. It's kind of flat. There's not really anything else. Let's see something. If we fold it, let's see what that looks like. The liner I got from Dollar Tree. Yep, I don't like that one. We are going to do the regular scrunch. So we're going to cut 12. I was having the same problem of having my mesh or outer ring slipping. I'm going to have to try it. That way you show it in my day. Thank you. Well, you are very welcome, Tammy, and welcome from Idaho. Everybody, please give Tammy the official Lemonhead welcome. Thank you, Patricia, for hearts okay so we're just going to cut 12 probably should have cut two together and this doesn't move so i can do 12 and 24. yep just a little tip 
I continue to learn every day as well, whether it's videos, whether it's advice from others. Okay, so there's those six. Go ahead and cut this. I'm watching you and working on an order TikTok at the same time, trying to focus, but I'm not good at that. Well, I'm glad that you take the time to pop in, Justin. Love you. The liner is 12 inches, I believe, right? Yep. So these are 12 by 12 cuts. Okay. Oops. So we're doing it at 12 and at 24. Now, I've never looked online to see. I'm assuming that somewhere you can get other colors of shelf liner. Uh, it would be fun and, and interesting if this turns out the way I'm hoping it is. Hey there, Beanie. I didn't see you. It's storming here and hubby is home. Oh, <laughs> oh Patricia. Um, but it would be fun if there was like a bright yellow or if you can get other I honestly am not sure. I've never looked. Again, my, my Dollar Tree had this gray, the um, cream or ivory that I'm going to be cutting, and then black. Oh, you're okay, Marjorie. How are you, friend? Hope you are doing well. Love you, bunches. Ooh, that was a look at that. You can see it wasn't even straight. Amazon has a lot of colors. Oh, Carol, nice to see. I'm going to have to try. Okay. So there's my gray. We're going to go ahead and it's, we should be able to cut these together. Yes, yeah, stay safe. Okay. They may stick, but that's okay. Seriously, Eric just called on the phone. <laughs> Let me tell you, sometimes my kids still don't get it. Or they forget. Today is also senior skip day. So Trinity's upstairs waiting for their little cookout that they're going to do. It's two. It's art on here. Okay. I didn't see him pop on, but that doesn't mean he's not on here. again. So we are using the I'm fine ran to rummage sale. I'm now freezing. It's cold out there. Yeah, I wish the weather would just decide what it's going to do. I haven't been to a rummage sale or a yard sale in forever. One, two, three, four. I wonder why that one's shorter. Six. Uh oh. Seven, eight. I'm going to be short one. Nine, ten. Well, that stinks. Eleven. How did I? Hey babe, we are doing the shelf liner one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, I'm short one. They shorted me on the roll. 10, 11. We will make it work. I did not make it to Hobby Lobby yesterday. It took forever to find me enough things I like to rinse me under that thing. Yeah, I get that twice. Yeah, no kidding. Um, Hobby Lobby is supposed to be getting in. I probably shouldn't say that, but they're supposed to be um, carrying, start carrying some um, items from Bed Bath and Beyond. Forty-three degrees. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what we got. I don't think it would even work if we rolled it. So we are simply 
Ready to scrunch it. I'm gonna put it in here just to hold it. You could, if you wanted to, use clips and we could put them in together. regular way. Just playing. Handy new and white rolled in the screen I have. <laughs> yeah, we put these in here. I am not sure what they're going to be doing. Let's see if this scrunches a little. I mean, there's stuff that I hear, there's stuff that one of the employees had said, I don't know if it's true that they're, you know, that the goal possibly, and I say that because it didn't come from a manager, that the goal possibly is to get more Christmas year round because obviously that's their, hey Marjorie, this is shelf liner. Makes you think of spider legs. Um, because that's where their biggest revenue is, which makes sense, you know. Let's see if it, oops. Let's see what happens if we scrunch a little. Because it's going to stick to itself. We're just going to get them on and see what happens. No idea what this is going to look like. I'm glad I caught you this morning and I missed you in here yesterday. Oh, Paige, welcome. I'm glad you're here this morning. Yep, so if you are new to me... I go live Monday through Friday at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. I used to go in the evenings, but life, sick parents, kids, all of that good stuff. I am undoing the tie. You don't have to. gonna see what this what it looks like it may just be really floppy I'm alternating you like the morning lives thank you Carol I'm not gonna lie it makes it easier for me because then I know that I've got the rest of the day to do what I need to do now on Thursday evenings which is tonight is when I do have my support group so if you would like to become a supporter you can do that for only $4.99. We meet on Thursdays at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. We do it via Google Meet, but you don't have to turn your camera on. Uh, I do post replays or recordings of it. I'm having a day of droppies. I drop my coffee, soak that up, and then drop the bottle. Oh, my gosh. Oh, honey. <laughs> Got butterfingers this morning, huh? Beginning May, which is <laughs> Monday is May Day. Uh, we is updated some updated benefits, and once a month on Thursdays it will be a live like this where we still do the meeting, but people are commenting through here. So those that don't feel comfortable on Google Meet can do it that way and then one Thursday a month that's in Google Meet well I guess it kind of depends but one Thursday a month one of the updates or changes with the benefits is it's gonna be what can I help you with type thing with business ask me your questions how to start your Etsy um, how do you get your tax number how do you go about doing this or that and I will do what I can to answer questions and if I can't find the if I don't have the answer I will find it for you I heard Hobby Library is going to be more of their furniture and home decor hope that's not hey Nancy yep it's shelf liner love the way you talk. oh honey I saw I did this last year Maybe it was two years ago now. When I very first started, I believe it was my first year. But I also, 
I had, I believe it was Jean Ann, sent me pictures of someone did a cross with shelf liner. So you could cut these in half and get two more and um, have a smaller. Obviously, you would need more ties. I do know that they are adding a hundred more, hundred more Hobby Lobbies. Lori Franklin from Unique in the Creek had mentioned that. Okay, this is the outside. The way it lays, it's almost like pointed. I don't know. It is different. We'll see what it looks like when we get the inside ones on. Yep, doesn't fray. So there is one spot where we're going to be short, but what I'm going to do is that's where I'll put my bow. So it'll cover, cover that area up. Let's see what this looks like. And again, if you can get, I believe it was Paige, wasn't it? Had said that Amazon has all different colors. I'm going to have to check it out because I think I think it would be fun. So we can still prop these up. So we got the colors. I'm going to squish it. See what it comes up with when we're done. It is different, but I like I like the way that it is laying. Sure it will. Now, because rain's not going to hurt it. Uh, I do not have any idea about fading because you have to remember it's shelf liner for like in refrigerators so the cold's not going to hurt it the moisture's not going to hurt it I don't know about the heat I mean it's a plastic but it have to get pretty darn hot to start melting it heading inside to an install have a great day beautiful oh thanks honey love you good luck with your install That is my husband, for those of you that don't know. Okay. This one on the bottom. Watch the way last night. She's asking if you see the boards in the store. Take a picture in the store. Well, I took a picture outside. I didn't do it inside. I guess I should have done it inside. I tagged Hobby Lobby. I knew yesterday was truck day. I'm not sure if it's all of Hobby Lobby's. So my daughter works at Hobby Lobby for people that are new or didn't know. And Wednesdays are truck days. So I said, let me know. Because Lori had put a post out also that corporate, Hobby Lobby corporate had told her by May 1st, the store should have them up. So, what is that noise? Other than what it usually is. Um, so I said, check when you go into the store today, check and see. Well, send me a picture so I know. Do you know what I do for a job? So I sent her the message, the post that Lori did. Well, she sent it into one of the gals she works with who's married to a co-manager because she was there before Trinity. Well, they only got four. Papillion is Friday truck. See, that's what I was, <coughs> excuse me, wasn't sure of. Trinity thought all of them got them on Wednesday, but it would make sense that they, but that's good to know. And so she sent it off to Lisa so she could look before Trinity got there. And sure enough, there was four that they came across. So yes, I bought them. Sorry. She held them, Trinity's like, she's gonna hold them, but she gotta come in tonight. Of course I'm gonna come in, this was last night. Duh. So, after school pickups, went in and got them. And then Trinity said, because it's something that's can be ordered because there's some items that they get in as a as a one done 
or it's something that's special because it's something that can be ordered. I was able to, now we'll see how long it takes. I don't know how that's going, but it's, it's similar to a rain check. There's a form they fill out, rain check, special order. And so the, the come in, I said, give me 12 because I don't, they pay to have them come in from corporate or wherever. It's the same price as Lori. Lori's still getting the benefit from it because Hobby Lobby has to get them from her. It's the same price on the large boards that she pays for them. Um, I don't have to pay shipping and I get to use Trinity's because families get to use the employee discount. Can't beat that. Lori benefits from it. Hobby Lobby benefits from the sales. I, of course, benefit from it. Okay, this is my last spot where, unfortunately, I'm looking like I dropped it and I didn't. I am short an ivory. So I am going to, I'm going to cut a little piece of this. I don't lose that spot. I'm just sticking this in here so I know that this is where my bow is going to go. And then we'll take it out. Okay. I think it's fun. Now you could mess with this all day to get it up and squishy. And I think it's cute. Now you could cut them shorter and do more ties if you wanted to. Squished a little bit too much there. I am going to put tails on. This red spot is where I'm putting the bow. I think it's cute. So that's using shelf liner. Cut at 12 inches. Okay. That red spot, again, is where I'm going to put the bow. Now, honestly, even if this matched, which, I mean, I guess it doesn't when it's setting on it. Let's see. What do you guys think? Is it too white? If we were to set it right in there. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? Maybe once we get the tails on, but signs are not a, a have to. They are not a, oh my gosh, that wreath doesn't have a sign. Doesn't have to be that way. Thanks, Sylvia. 13 or 14. I might because it's wider than what normal mesh is. So regular mesh is 10, 10 and a half inches. The shelf liner is 12. So I'm going to go with 14 inch tails instead of 13. Do any of the tails have white in them? This is a little white. Is this? That's a good point, Carol. So we'll see. We're going to get the tails in and see how it, how it does. So the only thing, let me see if I have another one of these because they're only partial. Yep, I do. I forgot that these are from Walmart when they clearanced out their fall. And these are only 15 feet, which is five yards, but I paid a dollar because they were 49 cents each. So I should be right should be able to get 11 because I'm going to do a bow. So let's see how the chickens do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I need the second roll. If I would have calculated out. This is what we have left. So what I am using, it could be like a pancake wreath if you wanted to smash it, which it's going to, if you put it between a screen door and the front door, it's going to anyway, but it's not going to, it's not going to make it look distorted or bad for doing that. Hey, LaDonna, am I saving you from spending money again? So we're going to dovetail these. Okay. 
what I use to cut my ribbon tails are my lemon bars. These are on lemonwreaths.com. They come in eight inch up to 14 inch. I have done custom 24 a couple times. <laughs> Thank you, LaDonna, for spreading the love. What is the trick to cutting mesh with a wood burner? Mine won't cut. What kind of mesh are you cutting? Because I can tell you that if it has jute in it, it's, it's not going to um, cut with a wood burner. The shelf liner, I just did, um, I just did the regular scrunch. I cut them at 12 inches. There is 72 inches on, they're 12 inches by 72. So I got two of each color, LaDonna, because I cut six of each. I got, well, believe it or not, I'm still looking to see if I dropped one. I got shorted a little bit on the ivory color. Okay, I'm going to do this. I think this will look fun. I think the roses is too much pattern. I think this is going to be fun. This should, yep, 15 feet is good enough. Just regular. So it won't cut at all. Um, are you putting it on a glass board? It should just literally go through it like butter. Um, uh, is it a brand new wood burner? Maybe... The wood burner's not getting hot enough. The only time I've had any issues with mesh cutting is if it has jute in it. A chicken shaped wreath. You miss some? I can't do those at work because I can't focus on it enough. Well, what you could do, and I'm a bad influence, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 is my wood burner only has an on off switch it doesn't have you know a high low type thing it's just strictly an on off um, that's odd what point are you are you using what I call it it looks like a, a calligraphy point hey Gina Yeah, I've never, the burner blade makes a difference. That's what I, that's what I was wondering, Billy, if she had the, the one, let me grab mine and I'll show you. I call it the, the calligraphy end, because that's what it reminds me of, is a calligraphy pen. Let me do these quick. It's the one that's slanted. I'm sure there's a, there's a name for it. Chisel point. Thank you. See, see. and I'll show you. Chisel. Okay. So, I keep mine in my little cup. It's dirty. So I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully this doesn't get too blurry. Can you see Oh, it's, it's called the chisel point. It's at a slant, and you want to hold it this way with the point to the top, and it should slide right through, right through your mesh. Yeah, and um, you have to have that chisel point. And of course, it has to be, it does go through fabric mesh, and it goes through, obviously, you couldn't do this. Uh, well, you know... This is a little bit more plasticky than poly burlap, but I wonder, I wonder, guys, this doesn't have an actual, it just says non-slip. I might have to try that out in the garage. If you can cut poly burlap with a wood burner, why can't, but here's the thing. The reason you're using a wood burner on it is because when you make the flowers and whatnot, because mesh frays. And so you're doing the wood burning so it doesn't fray. This doesn't fray. So you wouldn't need to cut this with the wood burner. I'm 
just saying I was thinking of materials. I just know it doesn't work uh, with jute. You can do fabric, you can do poly burlap, you can do regular, you can do mesh with mylar in it. How many did you cut? I cut 12 of each color, so a total of 24. I did it just like I would a regular wreath, where you put two in every tie. So I have 12 ties, it's a Dollar Tree frame. <clears throat> I had two rolls of each color mesh, or each color shelf liner. There's gray and ivory. Because it's 72 inches, cut at 12, I could get six per roll. So two rolls of each to do a standard Dollar Tree frame. What were you going to say about being a... Uh, oh, <laughs> um, you can, because I've... I'm bad. If I know, like, it's a $5 Thursday, I've had it going on the side here, but I have the closed captions on. So if she's holding something up and, and she says the letter's there... It's only like once or twice. So at least it's there and you can see, or if you're allowed to, I'm assuming you have the sound on because you're listening to me. Um, even if you have it in the background and you hear her say, okay, next one up is this two and a half inch by 10 yard um, chicken ribbon. You can, for $5, you can pop over there quick and see what it is and drop it in the comments. Just a thought. I mean, no, you can't sit and just watch, watch. Yep, we have support group tonight. If you join it, uh, you'll automatically be able to come to the support group. Why are you leaving so early and why does it look like you don't have pants on? No, I do. Shirts. Pull them down. Because we're going to have like water. Pull your stuff. sweatshirt up. Um, she said she's out of school. And then i got to run her home and then she has to go to Walmart and then i got to go. She's going with you? She's riding with me. She's giving me gas money. No, she's going to the party thing with you? Yeah. She doesn't go to the school. No, but whatever. Okay. That's fine, but you need to bring us back sodas. Remember, I bought that makeup for you. Um, I'm going to leave around 4.30, come back, get sodas for you guys, and then I'll go to work. 4.30? I go to work at 5 here. Why not till 5? I don't know. You're All right. right, I asked Jeremy, I said, hey, can you call somebody to see if they can cover my shift today? Because I don't... Good sodas. morning, Gigi. How are you, my friend? No, I wanted you to go get sodas now. Oh, I can go with Carly. Yeah. Sorry, guys. That's the senior. Today's senior skip day. When you got the UITC words of Hobby Lobby, did you happen to know what section they were putting? It's going to be over in the floral. They held them up front for me. But they have... Hold, please. I have them over here. Maybe. Here they are. They have the floral accent sticker. So this isn't the sticker that goes on their wreath frames in the actual floral where the foam and everything is. It's the blue or the green floral accents that goes on like the grapevines and stuff. But that doesn't mean that it's gonna be over there somewhere and it's they're gonna be hanging because she's had um, them attach these, unless they did. Maybe the store did, but this is what they are. Um, and again, it has the, it says wreath form. Yeah, it's going to be in floral because it says floral and it's got the floral accents sticker on it. I just don't know if they would end up putting it in where the grapevines are because those have the green tags, but it's going to be over there somewhere. Good morning, Verna. Okay, so we folded them all together, folded them. I don't know if I'm gonna curve them or keep them straight so we can actually see them. Kelly needs a part-time job. I see her going to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I've thought about it and the one manager has asked me before. I just don't have time. No, the boards will never go on sale. Just like the grapevines never go on sale. And I think that may be part of the reason why it has that tag. But I do know that they 
they won't go on sale because all of that. Okay. Let's get this one. We don't want upside down. Hopefully that works. Let's see. We can do it this way. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Because we don't want... You would have crafters baskets overflowing with ideas. Yeah. Um, I helped a lady once in Hobby Lobby. She was over... She was over by the mesh, and I don't remember if she asked me or if I just, I think she might have been, like, talking to herself, um, and so I said, if you don't mind, da 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 and I gave her some idea, and she ended up, it was about making a bow, and it was this and that, da 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 I ended up giving her my card. She's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much, type thing. Let's see, I may have to, no, nope, because then that one would be upside down. We'll make it work. Make it work. Pancake board looks so awesome and easy to use. I think it will be great. Oh, the pancake one? Yes. Um, I ordered some of those from Damon so I can give it a try. Not only do I like supporting everybody, and I think it's a great creation of Mel's and theirs. I'm sure there's other stuff that you can do on it, but I just did the basic ruffle LaDonna, the standard, like what you would do on a pancake wreath, is what I did for this one. Some of my chickens are upside down, but you know, it happens. It happens, y'all. You are very welcome. We're gonna go all the way around. I wonder, we'll see. Hopefully they're not too close together because the, with the mesh, Kind of holds the ribbon tails up. I think my metal's coming. Nope, she didn't turn her truck off. Even when she turns her truck off, she's bringing something to the door. What size was this base? I I put that on the wrong side. Um, 14 inch Dollar Tree frame. Sorry, I couldn't figure out why this one was. I put it on the wrong way. Good morning, Lisa. I gotta flip my ribbon this way. Because the other way, the chickens were definitely gonna be. But anyway, those uh, pancake, I, I will use them for. Pancake style. I will support her. But I I highly doubt I will do other types of frame, other types of wreaths on them. Like I won't do a flower board and stuff like that because I just, that's what I get from Lori. But it's okay to support everybody. And I like the idea of having a special board for pancake wreaths. So I'm anxious to give it a try. Kelly, are you only doing lives in the daytime now? Right now, yes, I am. I Every day I can say it, but it doesn't, doesn't mean it happens. Every day I say that I'm going to. Now I can tell you guys, and I need to make a post, is Monday, May Day. 
I will be going live in the evening rather than in the morning because of um, some other scheduled stuff. So this next Monday, May Day, will be at 7 p.m. Well, that's why, because I'm doing the inside outs. I'm like, why are there so many? We'll be at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you have that down so you don't miss me that night. Did it again. Got you, Joanna. Good morning, Miss Evelyn. How are you, sweetheart? Did it again, guys, because I'm talking while I'm working. Switch it. Trey. Trey. Facebook and see you. Oh, you're so sweet, Tammy. Thank you, doll. Okay. Make sure I've got it right this time. They all got switched. Okay, so if you are just popping on, we used a shelf liner for this wreath. You're not riding my bike. <laughs> exactly. I'm not riding your bike. No, I'm not riding your bike. Good morning, Mama Dukes. How are you, my dear friend? Hope you are well. Okay. Let's see. This is going to go once we get, we're coming around to where the bow is going to be. Oh, at 81, you're riding the bike. You go, girl. Absolutely. Got to keep that heart rate up. I'm good. I finally got to go see dad today. He's supposed to be out of isolation. Mom finally gets to go up and see him tomorrow. That'll be day 10 for her. So they're excited about that. I was worried about her on Tuesday night because she was still, still sounding pretty tough. But other than um, a scratchy throat, kind of hoarse, she said she's she's feeling much better. Because as of Tuesday, she didn't even think she was going to be able to go see Dad because she felt so lousy. But she said he was so excited yesterday when she told him. He's like, really? I get to see you? Guys, these two people have been married. If you missed my post last week, Saturday was their 56th wedding anniversary, and it was the first time in 56 years that they have not been together. For their anniversary. Missed some. Yep. Hey, Deb. Yes, Sylvia, absolutely. Thanks, guys. Because it's just, he said to me, um, I talked to him yesterday, last night. And uh, he said, I just, he said, I miss your mom so much. I said, Dad, she's going to be, I said, I said, two more sleeps. I said, two more sleeps and she she's going to be up there. 
because I know how much I miss seeing him. So I can't imagine how it is for her as the spouse, you know. that Sean was missing yep right there one more okay I think we are gonna be just fine with no sign yes thank you Paige yep because they have been she's been able to see him but he has been gone from home since we called the squad and went to the, when we almost lost him. It has been this last week. I forget what the exact day. I got to look at because I have his um, hospital bracelet. He's been gone from home for 30 days. Was in the hospital and then got transferred here to the rehab. My ribbon, Sarah, I cut at 14 inches, so it's longer than okay. longer than my mesh. I guess we can have it flopping in the middle. I lost my husband at 40 years. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. So sorry to hear that. We can mess with it once we get the bow on because it's going to get messed up again. But this is what we have. Now remember, I have here where the red is. Right here is where the bow is going to go. And I'm either going to put it on the bottom. Let's see. I want it on the bottom. Let's see something. Scrunch these. Oh, I just think I want to put it on the side. Figure this out. I haven't done one on the bottom in a while, so we're going to put one on the bottom, which means I can have longer tails. We're gonna see. Oh, he's gonna have your eyelashes itch. We're going to see what it looks like. So we're gonna put this in the back. This is a nice thick, it's an RG ribbon. I don't remember where I got it from. My big scissors are upstairs because I was working on centers last night. So we are going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put it at 10 inches on the tail. This is like a heavy, heavy t-shirt material. Let's do, I'm going to go ahead and do seven inches. Get a nice big seven inches. I'm going to go ahead and do two loops on each side. Sorry, guys. Not in the camera well. Seven inches. I need to get a new dowel in my bow maker. Twist. Twist. Okay. Cut at inches. Not a whole lot left. Got my order last night.
from the Stephanie sale over at Festive Creations by Stephanie. Super excited. Okay, let's see how wide this is. Two inches. So we're going to see how this works. Let's see if this works. If not, I have... See if I regret trying to use this. I'm going to leave the end folded because of the sharp edges. And we are, uh, do I want to try to do tails with this? We're going to see what it does. We're going to see what it does, guys. I may regret this. End it. coming in just a little bit from the first one. Twist it. I mean, we're already being different using shelf liner, right? So why not get even more different? It's actual chicken wire ribbon. You can get it in the ribbon section at Hobby Lobby. And I wanted to see what it would look like. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut it a little bit long so I can bend it over. Not bad. Obviously holds its shape. <clears throat> I crack myself up. Crack myself up. Yeah, you don't have to twist it. Habit. It's a habit. Okay. Put this. I don't know why they have this paper in there. We're going to go ahead and put it back in. I'm going to twist this end like they had it. hard to see but it's good enough for a twit. I don't know if it's gonna sorry guys. I'm trying to do this so I don't get poked. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna put some of this roses. Oops, I forgot to dovetail this side. Do it now so I'm not trying to fight with it. This side. that you need to make a point of seeing the chicken wire, but I'm gonna come in a little. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do you think, guys? Do I need a pop of red on the top? Let's see what it looks like. I 
was long, but that's okay. I'm just doing this to have a pop of color on the top. If I don't like it, I'll take it out, which would be really easy. Definitely going to use a zip tie. And I think I used all of my black pipe cleaners, but oh no, I got one right over here. See how tired I'm going to be able to get this with that chicken wire in there. Put my pipe cleaner in now. We are going to pull this as tight as we can. When did you get? You know what those are? Were those that stored? Those little cubes are from Dollar Tree. And I zip tied them together. Three, six, nine, twelve. I got 15 of them. And the only reason I haven't gone higher is because that's a TV back there. And Art just hasn't taken it down, and I use it to hang stuff on. It's a little bit shorter, but that's all it is. That's all it is. Is those cubes are from? I saw um, somebody posted. I don't know if it was on TikTok or Pinterest. Hey, Jen, I have been great. How about you, stranger? Okay. These two. Got this chicken wire. Got this. I'm kind of liking the pop of red. What do you think? Right in the middle? Let's see how it looks. Those are a piece of red right here. So we're going to take out this newbie. Hi, Sue. Welcome. We are so glad that you were here. Everybody give Sue the official lemon head welcome. Got one little pop of red. And if I come across something that I could put in here, I don't know. Maybe I'll find a chicken and I can paint it red and or a rooster and... Put it in here. We'll see. I'm going to put this. Oh, yeah. This through here. I am loving this one. Here. I'm putting it right around where the ribbon ties would go. Maybe, or the tails. There we go. Perfect. Thank you guys for welcoming Sue. I appreciate that. Sue, I go live Monday through Friday at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, right here on my page. Glad to see. Oh, thank you, Brenda. It's good to see you, my friend. So anybody that popped on late, or if you're watching the replay and kind of zoomed through, which I totally get, I've done that before. This wreath is made from shelf liner from the Dollar Tree. We used four rolls. So, this wreath I would totally sell for just like 30 bucks. 
and I'd say the most cost is in the ribbon. Put these a little bit closer. So that chicken wire will help hold it. Let's pop a red. I'm liking that pop of red too, y'all. I have a light black rooster with a red comb that would fabulous on that darn. Now I have to go make one. <laughs> Chicken wings. Might have to tie that in there a little bit tighter. Oh, please. Nope. Like this one. Here, that one down there. And this is here. Yeah, I think I need to do it a little bit tighter. But this is what we got. Need to pull it in a little bit so it's tighter. Is that not super cute? And with the chicken wire in it. So guys, this is made from shelf liners. And what ribbon I had on hand. Thank you. Thanks, Sylvia. Like I said, some of these might need to be tightened. <clears throat> a little bit but I am in love with it thanks Robin the red really makes me yeah I'm glad I added that little bit of red I wasn't sure I was afraid I'd end up uh, taking it out but absolutely not I love the little pop and again if I end up finding something that I want to add and the real chicken wire makes a big difference too. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I will be back on tomorrow at 9.30 Central Standard Time right here on the page. You've got about an hour and, yeah, Billy, um, an hour and 10 minutes approximately. And then head on over to Crafty Creative Circle, KKC, where I'm a co-founder. Um, with Miss Patricia Rollinson from Wreath Sign Designs. We go live over there on Thursdays and Fridays at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And um, I'm going to go meet with her and we're going to decide what we're going to make because we don't know. So, um, yep, we'll see you in a little bit. You guys have an amazing, blessed day and we will see you soon. Much love, guys. Have a great day, everyone.